Zombie Apocalypse. <lacht> What's up guys, it's Peter Tman here and I am back with another video. Today guys, we're going to be ranking all 33 Team of the Year Iconic Masters from the offense, the defense, the special teams, every single position. Now when it comes to some of these cards, as you guys know, these stats are very, very similar on a lot of them, you know, from corner to corner, safety to safety, receiver to receiver, running back to running back. Some are going to have very similar stats. So the rankings of these cards is difficult at times but I am ranking them based on position appeal, reported performance, and a little bit on the stats, not too much on the stats because they are honestly very, very close on a lot of them. So let's hop right into it. Number 33 is gonna be Khalif Raymond, the 187 overall punt returner here in Team of the Year. The stats don't matter too much, it is a punt returner, and honestly, since it is a punt returner, that's why I have it at number 33. In fact, our first four cards in the list are all gonna be special teamers because special teams does not matter as much as offense or defense. At number 32, we have Tommy Townsend, the punter. He's gonna be our 32nd player here on the list. Honestly, punter, basically right there with punt returner. It's not too important, but still, cool to see every single spot on your team being represented here at some point in the promo. Every single position has a card. Number 31 is going to be Daniel Carlson, the Raiders kicker. I'm putting him at number 31 because kick returner, I believe, is a little bit better than kicker in terms of gameplay. Kick returner is the best spot on your special teams, the most impactful in gameplay. Return those kicks, which is why number 30 is Keyshawn Nixon, the kick returner for team of the year. That's going to round out our special teams and our first four players on the list. At number 29, we have Quinnen Williams, defensive tackle for the Jets. Now I put both D tackles here at the next two spots because D tackle is honestly a very useless position on the field. You could have the best D tackle in the game and the running backs are still gonna run for three touchdowns every game, just run all over your defense. So that's why I have the D tackles here at these spots. Number 28 is the other D tackle, Chris Jones. Now Chris Jones was very, very deserving of a card for sure. He is one of the best defenders in the NFL period, regardless of position. Very, very dominant on the inside is Chris Jones. But being a D tackle in Madden Mobile, I'm going to have him at number 28 because a D tackle card is not as appealing as maybe a receiver, a corner, a quarterback, players like those. At number 27, we have Creed Humphrey, the center. So going all the way back to O-line here, our first player on offense here in the video. Center is probably the least important offensive lineman on your entire offensive line. Your guards and your tackles are a lot more important than your center. Creed Humphrey, very, very deserving, very, very good player in the league. But his card, based on being a center, is going to be number 27. Number 26 is going to be Max Crosby, defensive end for the Raiders. His stats are pretty awesome. But once again, we go to defensive end here. And based on position appeal, not many people are going to go for DNs unless they actually upgrade their team a ton with their overall. And I have not heard a ton about Max Crosby in gameplay either. So I'm going to have him here at number 26. Number 25 is going to be Nick Boza. Now he did get a card in the NFL Honors Program and he also got a card here in the Team of the Year promo. He is the other defensive end in the promo alongside Max Crosby. So I'm putting him alongside Max Crosby. I'm just going to put him ahead because he did win an NFL Honors Award and overall had a more prominent season in the NFL. At number 24, we're going to have Kyle Juszczyk right here, the fullback for Team of the Year from the 49ers. So overall, fullbacks are not bad. Depends on the person, right? Some will like fullbacks more than others. Some people are going to try to go with those two halfbacks rather than a halfback and a fullback. It all depends what you want. Now, I am going to have Kyle Juszczyk at 24 because there are a lot more desirable cards in this promo besides Kyle Juszczyk. At number 23, we have Andrew Thomas, offensive tackle from the Giants. So I'm going back to offensive line here. I'm going to have both offensive tackles back to back. I really had no reason for putting one ahead of the other. I just had to group them together in this ranking. So 23 is going to be Andrew Thomas. And number 22 is going to be the Trent Williams offensive tackle from the 49ers. The stats, not much of a difference, honestly, in any offensive tackle. That's a 187 overall, 173, whichever one you have. is still going to be very solid on the O-line, no matter what their stats are. So Trent Williams is number 22. Number 21, sticking with O-line, we have Joel Batonio right here, offensive guard from the Browns. And then at number 20, we're going to have Chris Lindstrom, the offensive guard from the Falcons right there. So that takes out essentially the whole offensive line and the defensive line and the special teams for our cards. 
It is now time to get down to business with the nitty gritty of all the cards remaining in the promo. Number 19 is going to be Talanoa Hufunga. Now there are a lot of other better cards in the promo in my opinion. A lot of other desirable cards, right? I don't think many players are going to try to go for Talanoa Hufunga who are not 49ers fans, if I'm being completely honest. And he's not a bad card, but there are a lot of other better cards in the promo besides this one, in my opinion. I'm sure he's still a very good card on the field when it comes down to it. There are a lot of other desirable ones here in the Team of the Year promo. Number 18 is going to be Bobby Wagner, the former Ram, now Seahawk, once again. Now overall, he is a very, very fast linebacker. Let me get that straight. 204 speed, 208 excel. And he is a run stopper middle linebacker, which makes him good. The only difference is I've heard a lot more about Fred Warner in gameplay compared to Bobby Wagner. So I am going to put Bobby Wagner here at number 18 as compared to Fred Warner. Number 17 is going to be Hassan Reddick, linebacker for the Eagles. He also got a card in the Super Bowl promo. And right there is why I'm trying to figure out why Matthew Judon did not get a card here compared to Hassan Reddick. Because, of course... There are repeats in this promo, Justin Jefferson, Travis Kelsey, Chris Jones. Some of those cards were either in honors or Super Bowl, but when it comes down to it, Matthew Judon, another very good candidate, did not get a card here, and additionally, there were no Patriots in this promo, period. And if they were not going to give Marcus Jones like a punt returner or a kick returner card, they could have at least put Matthew Judon instead of Hassan Reddick, but anyways, Hassan Reddick is still a decent card. He is very fast, as you guys would expect, speed rusher, linebacker. But besides that, you know, his coverage, not as good. But when it comes down to it, he is all about the pass for us and the run stop. And overall, a very fast linebacker. So a good card. I would still go for him if you guys don't have a linebacker. He's very, very solid. But there is one other linebacker in this promo that I would recommend over Hassan Reddick. At number 16, we are going to have John Madden, the tribute card here from EA. Very, very cool here. Offensive tackle. So this was the very last offensive lineman on the board here for all of our players. And I wanted to put him higher than all the others because really John Madden is a very special card and an awesome tribute from EA. I could not put John Madden over some of the other cards in this list just based on how good they are in the game and also how desirable the cards are. But John Madden definitely deserves to be as high on the list as he is right here at number 16. At number 15, we have Patrick Sertan right here from the Broncos, 187 overall cornerback. Now his card is solid as well. All these cards have like 200 plus speed, so we can't really judge them based on the speed. But when it comes down to it, I have heard the least about Sertan in gameplay compared to Ramsey and Gardner. So when it comes down to it, he's not a bad card. None of these cards are bad cards, and that's why it's so hard to rank these cards. But I'm going to have Sertan here at number 15. Similar plan and idea reasoning here with Micah Fitzpatrick at number 14. Now he is compared to some other safeties like Derwin James as well as Talanoa Hufunga, and I believe he is better than Hufunga, but Derwin James, I have heard way too many good things about Derwin James in gameplay. For me to not put Derwin James ahead of Minka Fitzpatrick, but still, very cool to see Minka get a card, and he is a very awesome card for sure. He has lots of zone coverage, if you guys are looking for that, a zone safety, 200 zone, before boosting and all of that, so overall, a very good card. As we get higher here in the list, we're still going to have some very awesome cards, I just have to try to rank them as best as possible. At number 13, we have Jalen Ramsey, the now cornerback for the Miami Dolphins right here. Very, very solid stats, much faster than a lot of the other cards in the promo, and similar to Sertan. I'm just going to put him higher because his coverage is very, very good, and overall, I'm just going to stick with that. I believe he is a much more popular card than Sertan anyways, so I have him here at number 13. At number 12, we have Josh Allen, the quarterback from the Bills right here. So compared to Jalen Hurts, he is a little bit slower, but he does have better throwing stats. So when it comes down to it, it won't matter too much whether you have Josh Allen or you have Jalen Hurts. I just didn't want to have them too close to each other on the list when it comes down to it because still they're very similar, but I want to try to separate that in that top part of the list with different positions. At number 11, we are going to have Saquon Barkley, the running back for the Giants right here. So compared to Josh Jacobs when it comes down to it, He's actually an elusive back compared to a power back. And again, it depends on your play style. If you guys just want to run over players and not try to weave in out of traffic, you want to try to power through the tackles, then Josh Jacobs is going to be your guy. If you want more of that Chris Johnson type elusive back with a little bit more strength, Saquon Barkley is going to be your guy. Now, Saquon cards usually play pretty well anyway, so Saquon will not be a bad pick. But number 10 here, we're going to go with the other running back 
halfback Josh Jacobs here. In my opinion, he is a slightly better halfback because he is a power back and also in the NFL season, he was the NFL's rushing leader when it comes to yards. So that's why I have him higher on the list. He was much more deserving of a team of the year card compared to Saquon Barkley, who was still very deserving as well. Number nine, we go to Micah Parsons, the first player I foiled in the promo. He's very, very fast, of course, 207 speed, 212 excel. It's gonna translate very well to gameplay. Coverage is really not there, but still Micah Parsons is a game changer on the field for sure. Number eight, we are gonna have Fred Warner, the middle linebacker for the 49ers. Again, I've heard very good things about this card in gameplay, and when it comes down to it, him or Bobby Wagner are both very good cards, so you can't go wrong there. Number seven is gonna be Travis Kelsey, the tight end for the Chiefs right here, 187 overall. I've also heard some good things about him. When it comes to offense, you can tell a little bit more how good they actually play because you can actually play with the cards. And compared to Gronk, he is only two overalls lower, but he is still very good on the field and very comparable to Gronk. Some have even said better than Gronk when it comes down to it. So, Travis Kelsey, number seven. Let me know what you guys think about that ranking right there. But number six, is going to be Derwin James, the safety from the Chargers right here. As we know, Derwin cards usually play pretty well, and this card is no exception. His S4 Arctic Bliss card was pretty good, and this card is good as well. I did grab him from the Iconic Foil Select Pack when I won a giveaway, and I can say that he is a very good addition to my team. So number six is going to be Derwin James right there on the list. We've now broken into the top five, and this is where it got kind of difficult for sure. So number five is going to be Devontae Adams, the wide receiver for the Las Vegas Raiders right here. Now, out of the three receivers, he does have the best route running, I believe, but he also has low run block. So, him and Tyreek Hill are going to have lower run block than Justin Jefferson. So, I have him here at number five. He's more of a deep threat slash possession wide receiver compared to the other two. When it comes to number four, we're going to go Sauce Gardner, the cornerback for the New York Jets, the defensive rookie of the year. I've actually experienced some of his gameplay when I've actually played. As you guys saw in my gameplay with that wheel division team, I actually got picked off by Sauce Gardner twice in that game. I think it's just a known fact now that Sauce Gardner cards, just like Derwin James, play really well in game. And overall, I guess Sauce Gardner was very, very deserving of this card. He played good defense. He won defensive rookie of the year. And overall, man-to-man -man cornerback, a lot of people are going after the Sauce Gardner card. And it is one of the top ones in the promo. Number three, is going to be Tyreek Hill, wide receiver for the Miami Dolphins right here. He has that 210 speed, 210 excel. The speed is not much of a difference over Jay Jettas or Devontae Adams because it's only like a five or six speed difference between the two. So the speed is not gonna be much of a difference on the cards. I'm just putting him over Devontae Adams. He also has similar run block to Devontae Adams, but he does have more speed. So I'm gonna put Tyreek Hill there at number three. He is one of the most popular cards in the promo, obviously because of his speed on his card. But I would say based on the way that stats work this year, do not let the speed fool you right off the bat. Try to find yourself a receiver that has good run block compared to this, but also Tyreek Hill is a very fun card. So you cannot go wrong with him. He is still a very good wide receiver and one of the top receivers in the game currently. At number two, we have Jalen Hurts right here. Very, very mobile. He has very solid throwing stats. So once again, he does have a counterpart in Josh Allen who I had down at number 12. I wanted to separate the two because honestly, they're both quarterbacks. They're gonna play very, very similarly. But like I said, I wanted to separate out the positions here at the top to try to break it up a little bit and not have two positions next to each other the entire list. And now for number one, the last and final card, as you guys know, is going to be Justin Jefferson. Now what makes him stand out over the other cards in this promo is going to be his run block. He has 151 impact block, 130 run block, and as compared to the other two receivers in the promo, that is, I believe, like plus 15 on both of them at least. So overall, a lot more run block. And he's still going to have those good receiving stats, 197 catch, 206 speed. It's only four less than Tyreek. So it's not much of a difference, honestly. So overall, deep threat wide receiver. Justin Jefferson is my number one here for the team of the year promo. And yeah, guys, that's going to do it for ranking all 33 team of the year iconics in the team of the year promo. If you guys had to make a top 10, what would your top 10 be? Make sure to let me know down in the comments. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.